Hey guys, John Swan here. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about your traditional ukulele today. This is the soprano ukulele, the smallest of the family. And um, I've been teaching a lot of ukulele recently, and I want to take a minute to talk about an approach that I've found very valuable for myself and for my students. Um, in the guitar world, you have an approach called the caged method or approach or whatever you want to call it. And basically you learn the chord shapes, C, A, G, E, and D, and the corresponding scales for those uh, chord shapes. Um, so what I've done uh, recently over the last few months is adapt that to ukulele. And uh, to do that, I've ch had to change the E chord to an F chord, so it's C, A, G, F, D. And, uh, and what you do, if you're interested in learning more about ukulele, what you do is you play the chord, this is the C chord, and then you play the corresponding major pentatonic scale. So C chord and the C major pentatonic. And then do that same thing with the A chord. And the G. F. And lastly, D. And you want to ingrain these uh, chord shapes and, and scale pattern movements into your, into your hands so that they become second nature. Um, after you get these open shapes down, this open meaning um, some of the strings are open. So the C, you've got three open strings and one closed string. After you get these down, you want to start to move them up the fretboard. For example, here's the C chord. If I take it up a half a step, I have to cover all four strings, first fret and then fourth fret here on the A string. And it's the same pattern. And it just it opens up the whole fretboard for you. Um, I'll uh, I'll put a link to some of these exercises in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Happy practicing.